Welcome to the Demo Den. This is where we talk about what's new in Jira Software Cloud. I'm Max, and today I'm super excited to be here with Ryan, who's going to talk about Jira Mobile. So let's jump into it. Ryan, what's Jira Mobile all about? Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you some parts of the app uh, that I find useful. Uh, let's go and dive onto those now. Part of the app that I find very useful is the notifications. So most of the time, I'm a product manager, I have a lot of meetings, and I'm always on the go. So it's great that I'm able to get in touch with my teams through the updates that come through the notifications feed. So what we can see here are uh, the updated work items, uh, things that you're tagged on, uh, and uh, the app actually gives you a push notification, and then you can quickly go to the notifications view and see what's going on. So here, one of my teammates added an update and the work item can go there and see what's happened, what are the fields uh, that have been updated, and then I can even respond with comments. Sometimes I add attachments to give some context, so you can definitely do that there. And I can even tag other people with, with mentions so to notify other team members. So you can jump right into the issue from the push notification? Yeah, you can do that. Um, it's very quick, in and out, mm -hmm. uh, and then off you go to your meeting. Awesome. So the second part that I want to show you uh, is capturing work. We quickly create an issue, if it's a new idea or uh, if it's after a brainstorming session, capture the things that we have on the whiteboard as attachment and log that through our project. So just to make sure that we're keeping track of all the new ideas that are coming in. Another use case for this is uh, when you find a bug, you can quickly um, take a screenshot uh, and add that in just like here. So if I have a screenshot there, I can you know, add that on and uh, I raise that as a bug and someone can immediately triage and figure out what's happening with that. The other thing uh, with capturing work is sometimes you want it in context. So you want to go in your project, uh, we support inline issue creation. So you can quickly create uh, work items right on the board. And as you can see, it supports different work types that you have on desktop. So uh, if, if you want to label us as, as tasks, bugs, uh, contents, or story, it's, it's all there uh, supported so you can classify different types of work. It's super easy to update work. Uh, so when you're on your project, for example, on your boards, uh, you can quickly move things along, just like what you do on desktop, very easy, very quick. I love to see that drag and drop. Yeah, That's and nice. uh, if you want to rank issues along, you can do that as well. And as I said, another bonus thing is we support all the fields that you see in desktop. So, you know, edit the summary, you can edit the description, maybe update the status if you want, add an assignee. All of those are supported within the app. And the best part here is uh, you can even change uh, issue types if you need to. You know, you made a mistake, you want to correct it, it's there. Uh, you can add comments, uh, things that you typically do in the desktop application, you can also do in mobile. So another thing around updating work is sometimes you don't want to, you know, tap uh, too many times. So in the app, we provide you all your filters here. So the, the ones that you've set up on desktop, port it over here, and we also some, have some out of the box ones here as well. So the thing that I like is this here, assigned to me, just before I start my day or just when I'm finishing my day, I can quickly see my to-dos here, uh, what's in progress, what's to do, and what's finished here. You can see more there, so I can really see uh, what I've done. So I use this as a to-do list. Good part here is you can quickly swipe, and you can change the status right there in there. So that's fairly quick. Or, you know, just click through it, uh, see all the details and update that as you go. Awesome. So with all your filters on mobile, you're not sitting there typing a JQL query just to see what's assigned to you, right? Oh, no need. So if you're interested in the app, uh, go ahead in the Android Play Store or the iOS App Store and search for Jira Cloud. Uh, you can uh, download the app there. And for new users looking for a new Jira, uh, go ahead and sign up. There's a sign up button, uh, make a new account. For users planning to join uh, an existing Jira, uh, you can go ahead and log in with your uh, current details. So each month, we find the top rated questions from our users and we ask them here in the spicy question of the month. So Rayan, I've got an extra spicy one for you. Our users are curious, why can't they see their marketplace add-ons in the mobile app? Right, there's a pretty simple explanation to that. So the Jira add-ons are built on a different infrastructure uh, compared to the Jira web application. The reason for that is we let uh, add-on developers customize uh, different parts of Jira, maybe add buttons, change some layouts, run some scripts uh, to change different parts of Jira. 
And as you can imagine, there's a lot of uh, complicated scenarios that, that can pop up uh, due to these customizations. So we're working out uh, the technical challenges around that. And the add-on platform has been built uh, many years ago, uh, and it's been built uh, web first. So we kind of have to uh, see how that uh, experience fits in uh, to the mobile use case. I'm glad to say that this is one of our top priorities this quarter. And as soon as we can work out the quality issues and the technical challenges, you're going to have it in your app uh, very soon. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's great to hear. Um, and we love getting questions and feedback from you guys. So just a reminder, jump over to the community. There's a link in the description. You can ask Rain and I any questions that you came up today or that you have about the mobile experience. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, should we cut that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the one. <laughs>